Hi Study Sex fans, this is Omegan answering more of the questions that have come up during the Study Sex Tour. It's spring semester, so a bunch of new questions are going to be answered. Um, today's question has to deal with the cervix. And so a student asked, how do you avoid hitting the cervix with the penis when having sex? It hurts. So first let's talk about what the cervix is. On my handy dandy model right here, this is a side view, completely unsexy, uh, version of the uterus, which is right here. The vagina would be located right here on this clear model. This is the pelvic bone. This is the tailbone. This is the rectum. So just to kind of give you some placement of where everything is located. So the cervix is this part right here. This is the end point of the vagina. And so when people end up having some type of vaginal penetration, depending on the size of their vagina or the size of their partner's penis or the size of the dildo or toy that's being used, it can hit the cervix right here. The cervix feels just like the tip of your nose. So if you take your finger and you put it on the tip of your nose and you rub it around, that's what the cervix feels like. So it's like. a way that you can um, practice your sexual anatomy knowledge in a public space by touching the tip of your nose and being like, oh yeah, that's what the cervix is. Now some people like having their cervix stimulated and they can reach orgasm that way, um, but most people complain that when their cervix is stimulated it hurts. So pain is the body's way of saying stop doing that. Um, and if it's uncomfortable for you, then I want to make sure that you're having the type of sex that you want. And so there's a couple different things that you can try. One would be position. So one of the ways that you can avoid um, stimulating the cervix is by practicing out different positions. It's fun homework that you can try out. Different positions are going to provide different access to how deep things go into the vagina. So for instance, if your partner is going in farther into the vagina than you want, then you may want to um, practice person on top. So the person who owns the vagina would be sitting on top of their partner so that they can control the depth and the speed of how fast things go in the vagina, how deep things go in the vagina. And if something hurts, they can stop instantaneously as opposed to having to tell their partner, ow, that hurts. So person on top is a really good option. Another position that might be good is laying on your tummy but not with your back arched because when your back is arched things can get into the vagina in a deeper fashion. So laying on your tummy can reduce the um, depth of penetration. Lying on your side or the spooning position is also a good option because you can't get very deep into the vaginal canal with lying on your side or spooning. If you've tried all those positions and it doesn't really seem to work, then you can invest in a very cheap sex toy. Um, this is a bumper. And a bumper can be found at any sex toy shop. And basically what it is, is um, this goes over, it's typically sold to go over a penis pump. They're about $4 when you get them, $6 maybe. And this is a silicone one, so it can be sterilized. But a bumper can be used to be placed over your partner's penis or the dildo so that you can control how deep something goes. And what I mean by using a bumper is, my handy dandy green dildo here, is you can place the bumper at the base of the shaft, so right against the tummy, and this bumper will cut off about two inches of penetration. So things won't be able to go into the vagina as deep as they're able to without this bumper. So it adds some padding. Um, it also will feel very much like human flesh. So bumpers are a really great investment that you can get that can reduce pain during penetration because we don't want the cervix being hurt or bruised, which can happen. We want to make sure that the cervix is healthy and happy and that you're enjoying the type of sex that you have. So try different positions. Um, go to your local sex toy shop and invest in a bumper or it's called the sleeve for a penis pump. Um, they're about $6 and communicate with your partner if something is hurting. If you tell your partner that something is hurting, they're most likely going to stop because they 
care about you. So communicate, invest in different uh, homework assignments, and go to your local sex shop are the recommendations that I would suggest. So thanks for asking the question and have fun playing.